Okay, this is a short video lecture on cell junctions. There's three major ones we're going to go over. So starting with the first one, tight junctions. This is a specialized connection of two adjacent animal cell membranes, usually eliminating space. You can see here's our tight junctions, really close together. Basically, you can think of them kind of like fusing together, right? super tight junctions, eliminating any space. In this case, the two hands would be touching here. Here are tight junctions, though. We're looking at basically eliminating that space that, are, that may be present there. Uh, desmosomes is the other form of cell-to-cell -cell junction. Uh, a structure by which two adjacent cells are attached forms with protein plates in the cell membranes linked by filaments. These function like rivets. So if you've seen the um, underside of like um, a bridge, a bridge will have rivets. These little areas here are rivets. And that's kind of the same concept that's occurring here. Our desmosomes have these rivet-like structures, or these structures homologous to the rivets that hold up the bridge, to be able to adhere one cell to another cell. Uh, the last form of cell junctions would be gap junctions in animal cells. And these are specialized intercellular connections that join the cytoplasm of two cells. We see here is one cell down here. This gap junction is this little kind of protein-like channel allowing communication to occur from the lower cell to the upper cell. Now, in animal cells are called gap junctions. However, in plant cells, they have a different name. They're called plas plasma desmata. They're channels through the cell walls. Remember, plant cells have the cell wall that allows molecules and substances to move freely as needed. This is advantageous for the cell because it reduces the energy when it's looking to move uh, particular nutrients or could be waste products or signals from one cell to another. They look just like this. They're holes in the cell wall. These plasma desmata are holes. However, while this is great and allows things to move freely, viruses really enjoy plasma desmata in the sense that they can move through a leaf structure very quickly. Uh, and this is one of the downfalls of plasma desmata. So remember, the same basic structure occurs in plant cells as plasma desmata and as animal cells as gap junctions. Even though they're basically the same thing, plant cells have that cell wall. That nice comparison between the three here, remember gap junctions providing the cytoplasmic channels from one cell to adjacent cells for communication. Uh, desmosomes are function like rivets, fastening cells together in our strong sheets. And our tight junctions our tight junctions are membranes that are adjacent cells that are very tightly bonded together, forming seals around the cell. These are some examples of the three main types of cell junctions.